Now, if you ate just natural foods, you'd take in about 500 to 700 milligrams of sodium a day just from the food itself. So food gives us sodium like lettuce and celery and cucumbers and, and um, bananas and everything has some sodium in it, but it's a very low amount because we need some sodium. The point here is that you generally want to keep under 1,000 milligrams of sodium a day. So if a woman's diet, you know, if, she want, if she's consuming like 1,200 calories or 1,400 calories, and she's, you know, because you're always getting less than 51, you're getting less than half a milligram of sodium per calorie in natural foods. So she's consuming 1,200 or 1,400 calories, she's consuming about 500 milligrams of sodium a day. So she has room for about 300 if she had a little tomato sauce or a little bit of mustard or a little bit of a, you know, a Ezekiel bagel or something that had some sodium in them once a day, she'd still stay under the 1,000 for the day with a little bit of 300 to 400 milligrams of added sodium a day. But not if she went out to a restaurant, had a restaurant bowl of soup with 1,200 milligrams of sodium, then she'd be over. Then she'd be consuming close to 2,000 just from that one bowl of soup in a restaurant. Restaurant food is not the same thing as the food you make yourself. So I'm just saying that you can have, if you're having a little bit or something like that, a little bit of sodium once a day, it's probably acceptable to keep that limit certainly under 500, but better of under 300 or 400 a day. And of course, as you know, going back to that slide again, as it says that sea salt is the same amount of sodium as regular salt, and you're not protected against stroke because your salt has an, a little small amount of minerals in it and is more natural. Natural salt, whether it comes from the Himalayan mountains or the rock of Gibraltar or the backside of the moon, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's still going to cause a, a stroke if you're taking that much sodium. <laughs>